This is the plaintiff, Lachette Brown. She says the defendant rented her an apartment which was infested with bed bugs. There was no way she would allow her kids to be in that environment. Moved out, and the landlord refuses to return her money. She doesn't know what the guy's thinking, keeping her $1,573, and needs the judge's help to get it back. So she's suing. This is the defendant, Karen Conyer. She says there were never any complaints of bed bugs with her former tenants, and she thinks the plaintiff was the one who brought them in. Bottom line, the plaintiff's looking for an excuse to get out of their deal on the apartment, and she thinks the judge will agree with her because the law is on her side. She's accused of bugging a tenant. All parties, please raise your right hand. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the dock, the plaintiff ran in an apartment that was overrun with bed bugs and now can't get her security back. But the defendant says the plaintiff brought the bed Is bugs it? in. It's the case of the bed bugs bite, Political and so do you. Thank you, Douglas. Lachette Brown, you are suing Karen Conyer, your former landlord, for $1,573 in security deposit, as well as you want your February rent returned to you because there were bed bugs. Tell me all about it. Um, my aunt and her husband came to me and said that they know where an apartment was for rent at. They know I was looking for an apartment, so I got the number from them and I called her. She set up a date, I came to look at the apartment, and it was okay. Well, okay enough for you to decide you want yes. to live there. Yes, right. because my mother wanted me out her house and oh. my two kids out her house. Okay. <laughs> yes. How old are your kids? My daughter is 17 and my son is 11. Okay, so time to go. Yes, Time yes. to go, everybody. Okay, yes. so then? So then, um, well, she was evicting the last tenants that were there, so I'm bringing stuff. Her old tenants were moving stuff. So I was like, okay. Um, I moved two bed, I mean one bed, and I'm sorry, one bed and two chairs. And my daughter came that night to stay the night, and she found the bed bug on her arm. So. My daughter started freaking out. She was like, Mom, it's a bed bug. First of all, she looked at it. She was like, oh, it's just a bug. And I looked closer. I was like, that's a bed bug. We got to go. We left that night. I catch the little bed bug and put it in the water bottle, which I showed her. And um, we left that night to go to my mom's house. Oh, that must have been yes. some. <laughs> Step on up, Mom. <laughs> you got to see the faces she's putting on. <laughs> So they came back to your house with uh, bet with uh, reports of a bed bugs. Yes, they called me about eleven o'clock at night. When mom coming back to the house, I'm like, for what? <laughs> They're like bed bugs in here. Oh I'm goodness! Like, oh boy! Here All right, goes again, so you go mom. back to the house and yeah. you spend how many nights at your mom's? <laughs> how many nights does she spend at we... your house? Well, she is there still. <laughs> and okay, <I'm... laughs> but. but... So what do you tell the landlord? You tell the landlord there's bed bugs. Yes. And, and you're back there at some point because you show the bottle with the bed bug yes. trapped in it. Twice. Okay. Twice. Two different bed bugs? Yes. Okay, go on. The second time when I went back, it was a bunch of bed bugs. Yeah, Did you take a picture? All over the wall. Yes. May I see the picture? Um, at that time, I had braids in my hair and... I thought the bed bugs were jumping out my hair and you know stuff, so I did take a picture of one. Okay. I get itchy just talking about this. Yes. I'm still itching to this day. Yeah. <laughs> and my mother won't let me bring my clothes in her house. I don't blame her. Yes. My, your mother barely lets you and your children in her house, okay? Hey, dear. All right, so this is a close-up picture, I guess, or pretty cl I don't know. Yeah. Yes. That's one bed bug? I zoomed the kit. wait, I zoomed the camera. I know it's hard to capture, mm -mm. I know. I'm not going close, but yes. Right, but you said the, the wall was full of bed bugs? Yes. Do you have a picture of a wall full of bed bugs? Not a wall. No, I was trying to get up out of there, Judge. Okay. I don't know if you understand. I had like braided extensions in my hair, I, you know, long ones. Well, whether you, your hair is and braided or your hair isn't braided, I, I don't want a bed bug on my hair right. either. Yeah. It, it, or it anywhere was, else on my body. But, but here's the thing, though. You tell her, and then what do you do, Ms. Uh, Conyer, when she tells you that there's bed bugs? I had someone come and spray. I how, had a how quickly? It, this is dated the 6th. The 6th of February? Of February. Okay. And can I see that? Yes. You have a letter from the pest control company? Yes. Yes. Do you have proof of payment? 
It's there. How many apartments are in that building? Just the, the two. The one I live in and one upstairs. Okay, so do you have bed bugs? No. <sighs> Bitch, you got bed bugs. Bite. I beg your pardon? Her arms probably got bed bug bites. Her arms do? Yeah. So if this tenant is the only one that had bed bugs, does that mean that the bed bugs came from that tenant? Not necessarily. Why? Uh, depends on who bears the burden. What's the burden of proof? Right, but does it, if it's only in one unit, we'll find out. Going inside the courtroom. Let's see your arms. I don't see him. Do you they see him? They were up there before because I saw her. Okay. Here's the and thing, guys. Uh, no one knows where the bed bugs come oh, from because the bed bugs ain't talking. And so um, if you have a bed bug situation, the smartest thing you might do is leave and just not look back. But the question is who eats those expenses? You want her to pay you $1,573. But what does she do wrong? You tell her about bed bugs, and within a day, she's got somebody there spraying. Judge, what else does a landlord have to do? She had the house sprayed not for bed bugs. She had the house sprayed for roaches. No, you're wrong. No, no. you're wrong. I'm looking she at the, the receipt. It says, target bed bugs, the three bedrooms, high heat treatment vacuum Boracare. That's bed bug treatment. Oh, so she did that on left. February 6th. After I left? Well, and... OK, I don't care. You left in 24 right. hours. I mean, that's you may choose to do that, right. but again, what, what the law punishes is the neglect of the landlord. She's got to create a situation that's unlivable for you. A, you have no evidence that she sent the bed bugs in, okay? No, so the way there. you prove that is, oh, the landlord neglected this horrible situation. That's not my fault. Okay, so we look to see what the landlord did. Immediately, she had somebody in there taking care of it. So if you change your mind and you prefer to live with your mom, which kind of looks like the case. Which I don't blame you. No, She's she lovely. Okay, and uh, I, I'm not sure what bad conduct on her part you want me to punish. Can now, you have a $400 security deposit there, yes. correct? All right, and you um, kept the security deposit. I used $220 of it to get oil for her apartment. But why? If uh, Do you have a, a written lease with them or no? No. Okay. And why would she have to pay that? They're responsible for their own heat. Okay, uh, now what? Okay, are you responsible for your own heat? Judge, when I moved in, it wasn't supposed to be that oil. She told us that. She it said it was a different type of um, heating. She told you what? Could I explain? Yeah. She told us, because I went with my daughter, she says everything in the house was total electric. We didn't know that it had a... Uh, that's, that's where something oil, in writing yeah. comes in handy, right? Yeah. Because well, when I made up the lease and I gave it to her to sign, she never signed it. Oh, let me see the lease you made up. And I you didn't bring it. Oh, you also I don't have that? I didn't bring it. I was there long okay. enough well, to no, sign Well, no, yeah, you're judge. supposed to sign the lease. If there's a lease right. to be signed, it should be signed before your toe we we goes over the threshold. Um, there's a $400 security deposit, correct? And then you kept two twenty dollars because of the oil? And I the used rest, two twenty. You used two twenty to buy the oil, mm -hmm. the and document. according to you, that's her responsibility. According to her, nobody ever told her about no. that. And by the way, the oil's there, right? Like the oil that was purchased for two hundred and twenty dollars didn't go anywhere. She didn't take it with her when she left. No, it's, it's there. there. All right. Um, now the rest of the money you're keeping because what? There was damage. Something. Someone let go of something coming down that they put down the stairs. And it gouged the stairs as, she, as they let it go. Let me see a picture. Judge, I moved in we, we as other people was moving out. Okay. They could have done it. How will you know whether it's those nasty tenants that were getting evicted, that still had stuff there, that made those gouges and those scratches, or her? How do you know which of them did it? You don't. No. You're right. Right. So you can't charge it to her. Um, so if you can't charge that to her, and, you, and I, I don't think it's fair for you to charge the oil because you have it, then you need to return her security deposit. Um, and I don't think you can pin the bed bugs on the landlord. What the landlord has a requirement to do is to attempt to mitigate any situation that could come up with roaches, mice, bed bugs, anything. 
because you could have brought in the bed bugs when you moved in. Put your hands down and listen, we're done. I know you don't like it. That doesn't no. mean I'm gonna change my mind. The bed bugs did not testify. No. They did not say they came from her instead of you. That's just the nature of bed bugs. So what the law requires a landlord to do is address it. You need to address it. She did, she addressed it right away. Or that it's her, no, we're done. We're done, we're done. And you are lucky that she is not counterclaiming because if she were counterclaiming, she might think of saying something like this. If the bed bugs aren't my fault, judge, and I didn't get 30 days notice, I should get March, right? But lucky you, yeah, she's not counterclaiming. So I rule in your favor in the amount of $400. Thank you. All right. So the plaintiff gets $400 back. Ms. Conyer, I have a feeling you're glad this is over. Am I right? You are so right. How did you know? I know. I just could tell. Oh, <laughs> Perceptive. Yeah. Uh, anything you want to add to this? No. I'm glad it wasn't worse than it was. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. You, that way, ma'am. Okay. Well, here comes Ms. Brown. All right. Well, you got 400 Yes. You all right? Yeah. What would you want to say? Quickly. That lady don't nobody rent her apartment <laughs> okay. because you will get bed bugs bite. <laughs> well, you couldn't prove it, unfortunately. Thank you, fine with Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Harvey, what do you think? So look, a landlord's duty is not to guarantee there won't be bed bugs. The job of the landlord is to remediate things and get rid of them if they come in.